Good evening and welcome to Now You're Cooking. Um, tonight you have uh, the old man doing the demonstration. I'm going to do uh, my granola recipe. Uh, I say my granola recipe, it's a recipe I actually got from a previous employee here, uh, Laurie Rich. Uh, give her credit for that. Some 10 years ago she gave me the recipe and I appreciate it a lot. Uh, before we get into that, I'd like to tell you what's happening next week. Uh, Stephanie, who works with us, um, just joined us. Stephanie Danahy, she is going to be doing uh, gluten-free brownies. And so for all of you who either are gluten-free or try to be gluten-free or you have friends, this will be a great one to listen to. Um, also, uh, we have coming up um, every year, it's, it's early bird time. And uh, so just like we did last year, we're going to, instead of doing the early morning thing, we're just going to do a three-day um, the November 5th, 6th and 7th, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, are regular hours and it's going to be a 20% discount on everything except for promotional items and our wines and gift certificates. Uh, well, I say gift certificates, we have our special early bird gift, gift certificates which will be 20% off and can be used for everything except for promotional items. Um, so if you have any questions, stop by, um, but save the date, Friday, Saturday or Sunday fifth, sixth, or seventh. So let's get into granola. Um, it's really easy to obviously buy granola, but it can be expensive. So why not make your own and know what's going into it? So um, the, the thing that we start off with is, um, is oatmeal. And here's good old Bob's Red Mills. And Bob's Red Mills is available um, at Bath Natural market at Rennie's at a number of places in Bath. So um, this happens to be not the gluten-free uh, oatmeal. Uh, you certainly can do the gluten-free oatmeal. They have it. And so what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to put find my cup measure. I'm going to put six cups of oatmeal into my big bowl. And um, if you're heavy handed with the oatmeal, it's not a not a uh, major consideration. Uh, I made some earlier. I could remember if I put six cups or seven cups in, but uh, um, three, four, five, six. There we go. So oatmeal is the basic. Um, now we're going to have the really awesome stuff that. Um, and we're going to go with uh, pecans. Um, these pecans are whole pecans, but you, you can get pieces. That's fine too. In fact, I, I often will break them up as I, I'm uh, stirring it around here. And then uh, also, whoops, also the almonds. Uh, these are sliced almonds and they um, slip out everywhere here. So two cups of each and get my cup measure and put my pecans. This is um, a good thing actually. Um, I always think it's a good thing to measure out stuff ahead of time and especially when you're doing a demonstration it's a really good idea. Um, but um, because I look particularly messy when I'm doing this. So um, there's two cups of pecans. And if you don't like pecans, uh, pick another nut um, or, or not. Um, you can think about what, what else you might want to put in there. Um, I just love pecans and almonds. And so doing uh, two cups of each, beautiful. Um, and then a cup and a half of coconut flakes. Uh, these coconut flakes, again, are uh, something you can get uh, from the uh, natural market, from Rennie's. Um, and you can see it's, uh, it's a flaked coconut instead of the usual shredded, desiccated. And I'm putting too much in. I want a cup and a half. All talk and no focus here. Um, I love this coconut. I actually, when I have uh, oatmeal, I'll, I'll make oatmeal. I will put raisins and coconut in my oatmeal. 
so I've got that nicely mixed in. Um, to give it some sweetness, um, using some um, dark brown sugar, and I'm going to go with half a cup of that and mix that in. Um, where did I get the sugar? I think I must have got that at Shaw's, I'm not sure. But again, I think Rennie's has it, I think the Natural Market has it, Brackets has it. Uh, Brackets has all the uh, Bob's Red Mills products, which is uh, a good place to go. Always like to shop locally. Um, then, um, what I think is a great flavor is cinnamon. And cinnamon is uh, an interesting thing. We carry three cinnamons. Um, you'll see that we have the true cinnamon, which is, you know, it is real cinnamon, whereas the other two, the cassia cinnamon, a uh, little coarser, um, and then the um, third one is the Vietnamese or the Saigon cinnamon. Um, so the, you might use the true cinnamon in some desserts, really good flavor. Um, the cassia is a little coarser, which is perfect for this. Um, and then um, the Saigon is, is also like the cassia, and, uh, but just a little finer for baking. Um, so I'm using um, a, um, ta a teaspoon and a half of, of that to mix in. Gives it a bit of flavor. Okay, so I've got my dry ingredients right there. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, if I can possibly do it without spilling like I did with my almonds, is a half a cup and I'm using uh, canola oil. Um, you could use vegetable oil just as easily and I put it into a saucepan and then um, I've got my honey and a half a cup of honey and I was going to take the top off because it would come out quicker but then I also it could come out too quick um, which would be unfortunate okay and there's my honey and my oil I'm going to throw a little heat under it not too much I just want to warm it up it's will spread e more easily through the the product here I'm also going to throw in just a little bit of salt um, as with uh, cookies often uh, salt is a good way to just brings out some of the flavor uh, I've got my salt pig here this is uh, Emile Henri and it's really great you can have a spoon in there or you can put your hand in there um, and so we we love uh, we love salt pigs at home I actually have a salt frog um, and uh, it just looks more like a frog great big mouth to it so um, so we're going to get this to let's say just um, the two will mix together the honey and the and the oil will mix together um, if you apply too much heat and you forget about it it will kind of froth up and and that's probably not the best idea but um, and that might be just about enough so now with my big bowl my big spoon I'm gonna just pour this over and and stir it in and it's pretty straightforward there especially if I turn off my burner and now give it a good stir to get as much of the oil and the honey and everything mixed in and the cinnamon and the sugar and uh, just gets it nicely mixed uh, remember you can put more things in less things in um, other flavors experiment um, I know some people rather than putting in honey they put in apple juice um, so there's um, certainly plenty of ways to do this and then uh, finally a couple of half sheets and then I just uh, it sort of put them out and I continue to mix it a little bit because there might be pockets that are a little 
less um, coated with honey and oil and then just basically spread it out nicely and there you see so have your oven on now the important thing about your oven is um, as you probably all know is having a temperature that um, you know is accurate um, and I've got used to my oven and so when I come and use this oven it's a little hotter um, so um, I've got this down to I, it should be around 250 but um, I've got this one down to about 200 and um, so I'm going to put these in here but first I'm going to pull this one out so you can see put it right there so you can sort of see what it looks like and you're seeing the sort of the final you see the the color difference between uh, what's been in the oven and, and what has not yet now I'm going to pop these in right now and um, so um, yeah make sure you're, you you know what your um, oven temperature is and just keep an eye on it but what you'll do is you'll pull it out every 20 minutes 15 20 minutes and you'll stir it just you know get it really stirred up and moved around um, so that you don't burn certain places and not others get the sides into the middle so that's that's how it's going to be now there's no fruit in this so why didn't I put raisins in um, that's because they will dry out and so you want to wait till this is cooled off and this is cooled off and you can see it it's sort of uh, it breaks up as I do that it's it's kind of stuck together a little bit you know you get big lumps like this um, so now here really and truly you put as many raisins in here as you want and does it have to be raisins no it could be anything golden raisins or some other dried fruit and um, once you have that mixed in then you get your handy dandy container and you just and now you've got your granola you can just uh, pour it out like that into your bowl some milk some yogurt a banana whatever other fruit you'd like to put with it and there's your granola um, so I think you can do it pretty easily if you need any tips um, check in with me otherwise um, check back with us next week and see Steph and she'll be making uh, gluten-free brownies <laughs>